Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for July 29th, 2020. So yesterday, everyone, there was a palpable uncertainty in the market. We experienced one of those really frustrating days where we just kind of whipsawed back and forth or you saw stocks just chopping in this very light range going sideways as we're trying to come to grips with what all the data that we face is going to reveal. So how about we settle in, grab yourself something to drink, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, everyone, we've got kind of an interesting situation. We have a market that yesterday, uh, well, let's just say Monday, we had all kinds of bullish feelings in the market, and we ended up yesterday reversing that bullish feeling kind of taking it all back um, as we're trying to deal with all of the data that's about to come our way today we really ramp up on earnings reports and there seems to be an uncertainty in the market as to whether or not companies will be able to support these current prices um, since we've rallied the market so much and yesterday and last night we had kind of a mixed bag um, in those earnings reports with some reporting well, some reporting poorly. Um, gap ups, gap downs are very likely this morning on a lot of those, um, lot of those stocks. And if we look around the world, Asian markets overnight pretty much flat as they're waiting uh, for FOMC and, and uh, how the U.S. market is going to respond. European stocks this morning are just kind of chopping around the flat line. And U.S. futures seem just somewhat confused this morning, um, kind of stepping away from their normal morning big pump up. Um, we're just kind of chopping around. A little slight bullishness here in the market, but really chopping around the flat line here this morning ahead of such a big day. So how about we take a look at the technicals of the chart and see what we can figure out here. Well, first off, if we take a look at the Dow and, and just take a look in here really carefully, we have a support level that we're trying desperately to hold on to in the trend. We're really trying hard. The bulls don't want to give up and the bears just haven't had enough energy or enough uh, motivation to really push them forward. However, we do have that failure of this island reversal in the chart. Part, and we do have a couple of uh, attempts here where we have failed that resistance. Holding up in this trend continues to hang on, but we're just kind of got our fingernails in there on the cliff. We're, you know, it, it's that uncertain place. It's kind of when you, like when you tip back in a chair, you guys remember when you were younger, you tip back in a chair and tip back and tip back and just catch yourself just before you fall over. That's kind of how the market seems to be feeling right now. We're just kind of teetering on that edge trying to decide is this going to be bullish or bearish what are these results going to be and there is that palpable uncertainty out there in the market now if we take a look at our moving averages as you can see we're still holding up in some bullish um, areas here and there's reason for some hope here because we have a 500 day moving average notice our 20 day our 34 ema our 500 day moving average and our 50 day moving average are all coming together in a nice little level of support here. Now, the question is, will that support hold? Can we hold that support if these earnings um, turn negative or if the FOMC happens to disappoint today? Tough questions, and the market is trying to grapple with that this morning. So it uh, could be an interesting day, a very newsy day, very news-driven price action. We could see lots of humps and bumps and a lot of um, quick intraday reversals as that uncertainty continues to kind of spin around here in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY 
also holding in the bullish trend or bullish trend remains in this chart there's no question about that but that little bit of uncertainty coming in as we we were positive yesterday on monday swinging to some negative price action um, yesterday and now this morning we're trying to show just a little bit of bullishness again so just that choppy uncertainty as to what comes next makes it very very challenging and could be um, a relatively dangerous market because we could swing to extreme bullishness if uh, we get the right news events um, or we could extreme uh, swing to that extreme bearish move and, and really bring on those bear attacks if um, the market kind of disappoint is disappointed with the news so watch that carefully we're holding in here pretty well the Nasdaq is really showing some uncertainty here and um, showing a, a a rally back you can this is the eight exponential moving average we call that the T line and as you can see we drifted down below that eight exponential we rallied back to test it as resistance and then yesterday put in a pretty bearish type pattern here suggesting that we may be sinking a little bit into a short-term downtrend um, that possibility of maybe coming back to support in here seems possible and maybe even a test of the 50-day moving average if those bears pick up there is this uncertainty can these big tech companies prove that they are worthy of the high prices that have been uh, placed on them here recently and we have several of those big techs reporting today not only that is if we didn't need uh, you know anything more to deal with um, several of those big tech companies are going to be drug in front of um, Congress today and what's likely going to be nothing more than a dog and pony show ahead of um, election season as they're going to grill them in front of Congress so oh boy like we needed that right now but here we go um, tech is that uncertainty right now can they produce enough results in their earnings to support these current prices big questions to be answered yet today let's take a look at um, IWM interestingly enough IWM really seemed to hold in there stronger than the other indexes and IWM has been in this really tight consolidating zone we're holding on to that 200 day moving average but we're finding it difficult to break through that 500 however we are getting those shorter term averages like the 50 moving up and that possibility that IWM could start holding its own here a little bit better than it has in the past seems to be gaining just a little bit of ground here we'll want to watch that pretty closely there is that possibility that small caps could help lead us out of uh, well this this ugliness that we're in so watch that carefully um, as we progress throughout the day let's take a look at um, the VIX Boy, there seems to be quite a bit of confusion here on that VIX. As you can see, we we just bouncing in a range. We continue this little downtrend here in the chart. But yet again, while we're doing that, we're not able to break down through some price support that seems to be holding up that market. So we have this little descending wedge currently in this chart. And the question is, Who's going to defend here? Are the bears going to defend the uh, the downtrend here and finally truly break down the VIX? Or are those bears going to defend here and push us back up out of here? And it's, it's really difficult to know. We, we're getting that seesaw effect in here. And I really think that there is a bit of complacency here. We've, we've been so bullish for so long. Um, there is a bit of complacency in some of the market that we're going to have to watch pretty carefully. If that fear really starts to come in, we could spike very quickly. So watch for that in case that does occur. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And it's interesting that yesterday T2122 really didn't do much. We, we rallied for the first part of the day, rallied up a little bit. The last part of the day, we turned back south. 
but we're remaining up here in this upper zone. We haven't really moved a lot. And we can see that what happened yesterday was mostly just a very light volume chart. There wasn't much going on here all day long. And we can actually see that in T2101, the absolute breadth indicator of the market, that was decidedly uh, lower yesterday as we kind of well chopped around what, what was interesting is when the sellers came in um, that absolute breadth started to pick up um, at the end of the day so kind of an interesting thing we're seeing a little bit more um, movement and price action in the bearers uh, with the bears, but the bullishness is really not giving us a whole lot of upside movement here on the breadth. So could be an interesting thing to pay attention to here. And notice that we're kind of down here chopping around a an interesting little area um, in this chart. If that were to drop through, things could be, well, could turn a little bit ugly. Um, we'll watch, wait, and see if that breadth uh, picks up or, or continues to decline. Let's watch watch carefully. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. We do have some things on that calendar that we want to pay attention to that could move us around a bit. Of course, we're going to be very, very focused on earnings reports this morning. But let's keep in mind here at 8.30 a.m. we're going to get international trade and goods numbers. That's expected to come in at a pretty bearish negative number. Um, but uh, pretty so, uh, pretty common, um, so it may not move us around at all. We also have pending home sales index, may or may not moving be a moving event today. We have the petroleum status report, which obviously can move those oil sector stocks around pretty substantially, so we'll want to keep an eye on that. And then the Mac Daddy of the day, we're going to have the FOMC announcement with the Fed with the chairman's presser um, 30 minutes after. So keep an eye on that. There is some uncertainty around that. Um, I think we kind of know that the FOMC is going to continue to spend and 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 extend out programs um, they have that unlimited checkbook and unlimited ability to print money and um, they're using it to full potential but i uh, i doubt that they're going to be uh, changing interest rates or even in fact they've really kind of projected they're not even considering negative rates so there may not be much of a change here we're going to probably keep rates near zero and just keep um, spending money into the economy and uh, bond purchases and uh, direct debt purchases from companies so um, let's watch that close um, market could react pretty substantially if they don't get enough out of the FOMC let's take a look at um, our earnings calendar for today and we do have about 176 companies reporting earnings today really more than i can cover um, in the market one that i've um, seen already uh, general motors um, has reported and they lost money um, which isn't a big surprise but notice that the stock is going up it seems like one of the things that we've been catching a lot lately is um, if a company loses money pretty badly but says we expect next quarter to be a little bit better, the market rallies on that news. Um, and if a company comes out and and produces good earnings but says uh, we're not so sure about the future, it sells off. So it's kind of like opposite day here in um, the market as we react to these earnings reports keep in mind we're going to hear from facebook this afternoon that's certainly going to be one of those lightning rods for the market we'll want to pay attention to um to that that'll be a um, a big deal on the day um we um also are going to be getting um you know the big tech of apple um uh, tomorrow so we'll want to kind of keep that in mind um, as some of these big tech reports uh continue to come out um keep in mind we're going to hear from shopify today um 
just lots of lots of reports today shopify will report we're going to hear from um uh, adm archer daniel midland we're going to hear from boeing um there'll be a lot of things that could move us around today so um just stay focused and flexible because anything is really possible with this many companies reporting and so much additional data coming our way let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before i do that guys if if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could do me a favor if you could click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, the purpose of these videos are not to provide any kind of prediction. It's really to look at the technicals and kind of cover and go over the things that might affect the market today. And it really helps me um, in deciding how I want to approach the market for today, how I how much risk I want to put toward that market or if I want to back off. And if you guys find these videos to be helpful, if you could please click those thumbs up buttons and, and leave a brief comment. It helps us continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that does. You guys are truly, truly awesome. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. And remember that some of these stocks that are setting up we're going to have to be really, really careful in this market environment. They could jump up, they could quickly reverse. Um, so we're going to have to be patient on some of these trades. And remember, none of these are a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, it's just part of the education, part of what I provide in these morning videos. So remember, do your own due diligence. Make sure trades like this work for you. Take a look at Coke. Now, yesterday I actually ended up buying some Coke, but I bought it with a long-term thought in mind. So I picked up some Coke here and it popped up early yesterday and then immediately started the pullback. Um, so it's just one of the things that we're seeing. We, we get good bullish signals and then we reverse it before the end of the day. We get good bearish signals and then we reverse it before the end of the day. So that's that chop and uncertainty that we're dealing with. But keep an eye on Coke. This is a nice little consolidating move with a little rise going on in here. And let's note that it, it does have resistance above that we reacted to yesterday. So if we can get moving and pop through that area, if the bulls do step up in here, this may be an opportunity to maybe take that on higher. So keep an eye on that chart. You might wanna take a look at Starbucks this morning. Now Starbucks reported uh, poor earnings yesterday, initially gapped lower, but is now moving back up. So kind of the, the nature of the beast here lately, you can report terribly and still find buyers uh, from time to time. So what we've got is this little rally going on here in this chart. We've got resistance above to be thinking about right here, but if we can get going, remember, it's all about what the price action is in the chart. Um, fundamentals apparently don't matter because we really have negative earnings growth in this country, but we're pricing stocks higher than ever before. So the fundamentals of this stuff really doesn't matter at the moment we have to follow the price action. If the price action of the stock pushes us up and we can hold those higher lows, then we wanna start looking for that next opportunity in that chart to move higher. So take a look at Starbucks. It disappointed yesterday in its earnings reports, but here we go, we're moving back up to the upside. Trex is one we're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on. Trex has been holding up really, really well. I'm gonna put my drawings on this chart. As you can see, we're rising in this trend, broke through this resistance, and we're holding that area as support. Once again, we're getting these lots of little pop-ups and pullbacks um, in a market like this. We can't seem to follow through on much of anything. But if we continue to hold in this trend, we could see those buyers finally push on through, pushing that up. So keep a close eye on it. And by the way, there's lots of these stocks doing that right now. You know, you can take a look at the financials. We got the same price pattern going on in the financials. We're trying so hard 
to hold support levels, but we can't get enough um, momentum to really move us in one direction or another. So we're chopping around. Let's keep a close eye on these financials because we could maybe catch that bid in here and see those perk up or we actually start to fail. Watch those closely. Energy is in the same pattern. Energy just kind of languishing here, trying to hold higher lows, but struggling to find that mojo to, to move up. This may get some momentum today, either positive or, or bearishly, um, from that um, oil report today. So keep a close eye on that. Um, we also want to look at stocks like Restoration Hardware that's trying to hold some support levels in here. BBY, Best Buy, hanging in here, showing um, lots of bullishness after its gap up on earnings, consolidating over to trend. We could watch that chart. Clorox. Clorox has been in an unbelievable move to the upside and as you can see showing a lots and lots of strength. Nobody wants to sell it but there's still no real action in here on the buyers. Keep an eye on that. Take a look at some of the de defensive sector stocks like um, Hershey. Hershey breaking higher on its earnings pushing up here into resistance. We're going to want to watch this carefully to see if that can follow through. We also see pretty good signs in stocks like Colgate Palmolive really breaking through um, resistance levels, holding on to some nice upside trends and pushing on through. Kimberly Clark, defensive sector stock again, uh, pushing on through to the upside, holding in the trend. So we might want to look at some of those more defensive or those stocks in the consumer staples sector because we seem to have a little bit of a rotation into those going on. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. Please be safe out there. This coronavirus thing continues to kind of kick us in the hind end here in the United States as those numbers continue to rise, creating all kinds of havoc out there in business. Be safe, be careful, trade wisely, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great day, everyone.